Hi, my name's Ryan Barnett. I'm an elder in the Rio, Texas Annual Conference. For the last 11 years, I have served as the executive pastor of one of our denomination's largest churches, the solo pastor of a small urban congregation, and now the senior pastor of a large county seat church. My experiences in ministry have afforded me the opportunity to serve and to serve with people of diverse background, both in terms of age, ethnicity, and even theological belief. Throughout all of my years of service, I have worked hard to do three things. One, to lift up the unique nature of Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Two, to passionately teach Scripture, to invite people to hear the Word of God from the Bible in a way that declares God's love for them and provides them with an authoritative rule for life. And finally, encouraging the church to claim her purpose to speak into the community and into the world in a way that is transformational, leading people into the kingdom of God. What I have found in all three very different locations is this, that that simple message appeals to people of all ages, of all races, and from all kinds of backgrounds. In fact, I've been blessed to see growth in every one of those ministry settings, particularly among young people who today are hungry for truth. I share all of that with you because I think there is a lie that has permeated the church. Maybe it's just been repeated enough that people have decided to believe it, and it's not true. The lie is that in order to reach young people, we have to somehow change the historic message and teaching of the church. I want you to know that my life is a testimony that defeats that lie. You see, my great-grandfather was a general contractor, and during the Great Depression, when there was no business and no money, he built United Methodist churches at his own expense. My grandmother was a Sunday school teacher in the United Methodist Church for 50 years. My mom has been a delegate to annual conference. I was baptized, confirmed, and raised in the United Methodist Church. And when I felt a calling of God to go into ministry, I knew well our doctrines and disciplines. And it is because of my commitment and the church's shared commitment to scriptural holiness and the orthodox practice of our faith that I chose to become a United Methodist elder. And what's more, I'm not alone. I know more like me than you can imagine, who have deliberately chosen to enter the United Methodist Church because of our common commitment to our historic faith, to scriptural holiness, and to the orthodox practice of Christian tradition. Today, Young people like me have the opportunity to choose from any number of denominations that hold a wide variety of beliefs. But every day we are choosing to enter the United Methodist Church. I want to thank you for your service to the United Methodist Church, for agreeing to be general and juris jurisdictional conference delegates. I know it's not an easy task that you take, but listen, as you gather in Portland and you talk about the future of the United Methodist Church, I want you to know this. That future may be somewhat theoretical for you, but I am eligible to be appointed in the year 2048. That's not a theoretical future for me. It's the reality. The future of the church is not just for my six-month-old son, but it's for me. And I hope that you will do everything in your power to uphold our historic commitment to scriptural holiness and to the orthodox practice of the Christian faith. The future of our church is in your hands. And insofar as we hold together with unity and integrity around our historic faith, then we will grow and thrive together. 
we will continue to reach young people and they will continue to want to be involved in our church.